Pause it. So, how we essentially... I gotta adjust myself. Yeah, I know you look a little taller than me. Um, I can fix that. Oh, can I? I can't get too bad too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I was, you look taller than me. Yeah, you taller than me. It was intimidating. That's the way it's supposed to be. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, what's going on? I'm Marcus. And I'm Donnie. <laughs> and in this video, we are going to talk about that good old $1,400 stimulus check and the crazy things that revolved around it that we saw on the news. So, the reason I came up with this topic is because uh, I looked on Facebook in this Facebook group and I saw an interesting post by a young lady. This young lady put a post and she said, if you are a single parent and your child's father is actually a good father, you should split the $1,400 stimulus that you get for that child with him. And so I immediately... I know what my position is, but I was like, I don't know, it kind of confused me. So I said, well, let me go ask my wife and see what her thoughts are. Do you think in that situation you should actually split this check or not? Or what, what, I don't, because I don't understand. It don't make sense to me. So it didn't make sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> because if the stimulus check is for each child, you get $1,400 per child, right? Right. The check is for the kid. It's not for the adult. So if the father is a good father, great. That's amazing. Woohoo! hoo whoop de doo He's going to give the money. If, he, if you give him the money, he should be giving the money back to you for the kid. Because it's not for the adult. It's for the kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't see the... I couldn't make the logic connection in my head. I just assume that whoever qualifies because they can claim the child is their dependent, if the child stay with you, you should get the money for the child because you're the one to incur all the additional expenses. So I don't know. I, I couldn't relate to the question, but it was a lot of debate and some people was like, oh, we split it. Some people were like, we don't split it. So that was really uh, how this story came up. So the next part of this crazy story that we got to talk about. Uh, a lot of you probably saw on the news a few days ago where this guy went postal because his baby mother wouldn't split his stimulus, her stimulus check. Was it? It wasn't her stimulus check. It was a fourteen hundred dollars that she got for his child. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So this guy goes postal because his baby mother wouldn't split the fourteen hundred dollars that he get, she got for his child with him or he asked for the whole check i think it was the whole check in any event the dude went postal and shot everybody and killed four people the only person who he didn't kill was his daughter so what are your thoughts on that so yeah so there was some underlying issues going on there um i i believe that the, the lady was scared of the, the, the baby father, he wanted to just kill her. Like, it, I mean, of course, it the killing revolved around the $1,400 check, but I think that was just a, another excuse. Like, it was the ultimate excuse. Right, right. It was a build up yeah, leading to it. it right, was right. A, it was a build up leading to that. So, right. I mean, because he, he killed everybody, but he, got, he, he didn't kill his kids, and his kid was present, right? Yeah, I think he took her, he, his kid, and dropped him off, dropped the kid off at his mother's house, and then he went to a friend's house and hid. Right. And that's where they got him right. at the at the friend's house. So I mean, he really he didn't want to harm his kid, uh, but he did want to harm the mother. Right. right. So I think it was just, it was more so underlying build up there. But yeah, so the the ultimate of her not splitting the check because he wanted his kid. Clearly, he wanted his kid, but now he don't got his kid. I don't think he wanted the kid. I think that I think he just wanted fourteen hundred dollars, or at least half of it. Oh yeah, or at least half of it. I, I don't think he cared. I don't think he cared to have custody of his kid true. 
one that way could, or another. That could be true. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, somebody like that who you are, if you, you really don't care about cussing your kid. If my initial thoughts were, well, let me start with my reasonable thoughts first. My reasonable thoughts were because apparently. I guess this guy like shot up her car before, then yeah. shot somebody else yeah. in the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. So this guy had a has a track record with law enforcement. So somewhere along the line, there's a failure in law enforcement that, that this guy, a guy like this, who just shoot people in broad daylight, shouldn't be in the streets. Now I did see where some of the local authorities was like, "Hey, this guy is out here wilding out," but people don't want to testify, and I get that. Yeah, it yeah. yeah people don't want to drop a dime. Yeah. No, no snitching. Hey, I get that, but it, I mean a protection order, but she would have to initiate it. So, you know, I, I really she can't. She was apparently scared. Yeah. yeah, but that's the other thing. I mean, it, the, you can't expect the justice system to unilaterally on their own right. be like, oh, we know they have no clue if you don't go down there and tell them. Yeah. So yeah, it, it just could have been done across the board. Uh, it's a terrible situation. It's just the loss of life over fourteen hundred dollars that that was pointless but the other question i had is because i saw an interview and i think it was a male member of her family and i'm gonna just be honest and and i'm not trying to sound like a tough guy but i wish somebody would shoot up my sister shit part of my language but no nah, you don't got no brothers or no cousins or something it ain't no way you mean to tell me if something like that happened you know, you think your brothers will let that slide no, I know my brothers no. Uh, I got stories that I could tell over crazier things I did to protect females in my family that are, are kind of crazy. So I, I thought that was crazy that, you know, nobody in her family just kind of took the onus of handling the situation. I mean, okay, but, but it could also be that she didn't want them to because she didn't want them to get in trouble. I don't care what she wants. Uh, yeah, but that's just me. But I don't, they, no. I mean, out of respect for her, uh, they probably didn't. right, right, right. I mean, and I, I get that, but it's 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 a few things that I'm willing to go to prison for, and you fucking with, you messing with my family is one of them. <laughs> I mean, bottom line, immediate family, kids, wife, mother, father, brother, any of those type of issues. I'm susceptible to snap, so uh, yeah, it, it was just a terrible situation across the board. But that, and unfortunately, that happens like a lot. It's, I mean, this fourteen hundred dollars got people crazy, going crazy, anyways. But that's always happened. Money is the root of all evil, and people, especially broke people, that don't got much, they going they kill over fourteen hundred dollars, like. Yeah. Even if it wasn't a buildup, yeah. like you know, it's just because if if the, you eating and I'm not eating, I'm a, I'm gonna take you and take your money. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's an unfortunate situation. I've worked cases where hits have been put on people for way less than fourteen hundred dollars, and, and that's the point. Like but yeah, for, for four hundred dollars, right? But this fourteen hundred, it's a lot going on right. around this right. fourteen hundred. That's crazy. Well, that's just kind of our view on it. Uh, is it definitely. I mean, condolences to the family. That's a tragedy for his daughter to have to grow up. And I just, I just pray if, if this guy gone, I pray that, that his daughter can go somewhere where she can have just a stable foundation uh, and, and live, you know, her best life, so to speak. So that's it. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all take care. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Please subscribe. <laughs> so now, like, subscribe, comment. Y'all take care. Peace. Bye-bye.